Coach Kim here, ready to give you a 20 minute balance routine. You might want to grab a chair or be near a wall, get some good shoes and get ready to improve that balance. Here we go. All right, we're going to start with a standing on the one leg drill. So I've got a nice sturdy object next to me. If you have a wall or a chair, that'd be great. Take your leg. I'm starting with my left leg. My standing knee is nice and soft. I'm going to take my eyes and fixate on something. So find a spot either a window or a doorknob, something, and just stare at that. Then what I'd like you to do is lift up your other leg and just slightly off the ground by a couple inches. Go ahead and let go of that, that chair or the wall. And for 10 seconds, right now in three, two, one, you've got this. For 10 seconds, we're just standing on one leg. The standing knee is soft. Your eyes are fixated on something. It helps tremendously. And hold right here. And that's three, two, one one good 10 seconds and if you know after five seconds your foot fell down just get right back up balance is just like anything else the more you work on it it's going to get better and better so let's go ahead to the other leg lift the other foot slightly off the ground hold on to your object and now let go eyes fixate you've got 10 seconds standing knee is soft excellent keep going you can do this and what I'd like you to do is every time this gets a little easier is add another five or ten seconds until you work up to a whole minute and bring it back down. Good. So again, I'm going to do a second set just so we can practice this. Go ahead and go back to your original leg. Use your hands for counterbalance if you have to. If some of you have to hold on a little bit, that's fine. Eyes fixate. This time we're moving up. Oh, we're going to do 15 seconds. When you brush your teeth in the morning, do this right here. When you brush your teeth at night, get on the other leg and practice this every single day. And then switch, go the other side. So standing knee is soft. Eyes are fixated on something. Hold. We're doing a whole 15 seconds. Again, you could just count in your head if you need to. If you have a time clock, that's fine too. Hold it right here. It's going to get easier and easier, I promise. But you have to practice this. And hold. And good. Bring it back down. So next drill. So that was the standing on one leg. So I'd like you to put one foot in front of the other. Now let me show you. Some of you have to hold on initially. That's fine. The hardest way is heel to toe. A little bit easier would be to separate, get a little space in between, and even easier is when you have your legs more split apart. So I want you to find what, what can you do that you're not going to flounder and fall, but you're going to be challenged. So go ahead and put one foot in front of the other. Okay. Again, if you have to open it up a little bit, that's fine. Let go and see where you are on this. Okay. Can you stand right here? Good. Hold one foot in front of the other. Again, if you're floundering, open it up. If you're still floundering, make it wider. So hold it right here for 10 seconds. You've got this. Keep in mind, eyes are fixated. It really does help. 10 seconds. You've got this. One foot in front of the other. Hold. Hold. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So one foot. Now I'm doing mine directly heel to toe. Again, we're all at different levels of your balance. So if you need to open that up, open it up. If you're still kind of all over the place, separate your feet. So you guys, I'm not judging. There's no right or wrong with any of this. It's a matter of just practicing it and wanting to get better at it. So one foot in front of the other. Go ahead and let your eyes fixate on something. Hold the hands open for balance. And let's hold this for 10 seconds. Good. Breathing in your nose. Out your mouth. Breathing in your nose. Out your mouth. Good. Now we're going to go back to that other drill, but I'm going to add a little more movement. Okay. Anytime you add moving parts, whether it be your arms or we're moving our feet up, which I'm getting ready to do, it makes things a little bit harder. So go back to that same stance you had before. I'd like you to go up on the toes and hold, hold, hold right here. Eyes are fixated. You've got your object next to you if you need it. 10 seconds. Hold it right here. And perfect. Good. Let's go ahead and go back. Put your other foot right up here and go up on those toes. Up, up, up. Hold it. Eyes are fixated. Good. And again, I want you to think about it. every time you brush your teeth, standing on one foot, it will get better. You'll be very pleased. Excellent. And come back down. Good. So what I'd like you to do with this one, put your feet super close together, as close as they'll go. Now, if you find yourself, your balance is off. Again, you have your object here or you can separate your feet a little bit, but let's have your feet. Go up on the toes, and then I want you to rock back. Again, if you have to hold on, that's fine. Go up on the toes and rock back. Good. Go up on the toes, hold, 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 and rock back. Let's do one more. Up on the toes, 
Up on the toes. How's your balance? This is good for your ankles too. Bring it back. And perfect. Let's work on that several times a day. It will get better and better every day. All right, I'm gonna start with my right leg and my right arm, which means you'll be starting with your left. So just mirror my moves if you don't mind. Take one, lay your leg out to the side, my arm is up, and repeat. So repeat, good. You're stepping out to the side. Now, balance is just like anything else. The more we work on it, the easier it's gonna get, the better it's gonna get, and the more confident you'll feel. All right, let's get a couple more. Out, back. And when you have moving parts, it always makes things a little bit harder. So let's go back to the other side. Good, reach up and over the head, and just step out as comfortable, just somewhere comfortable. It's not too challenging, but it's very doable. Good, let's get three more. Waking up those shoulders and hips. You got another one, and good. Now I'm starting again with my right leg, your left leg. So let's take your toe and tap it out to the ball of the foot, and then go to the side and behind. My standing knee is soft, so bring the moving leg out front, and to the side, and behind. Front. Do what's comfortable with your hands. I like them on my hips. Some people like them out in front. Whatever you're comfortable with, into the side. I can make this more complicated by adding uh, some moving parts, and we'll get, we'll get to that. For right now, we're at a beginner level, and bring it back. Let's get one more, ready? Front, side, behind, and back. Let's get the other side. Almost feel like we're doing a little dance, and then bring it back. So put a good, nice little, little beat going on in your head here, and bring it back behind. So front, side, back, front, side, back. You know exercise is the most transformative thing you can do for your brain. So it will get easier. Lots of stuff going on and I promise you it's all good. Let's get one more for fun. Front, side, back, and together. Good. Standing on one leg only doesn't matter which leg. What I'd like you to do is swing. Now if you need to hold onto a chair or wall to the side, that's fine. This is a pendulum. I'm standing on one leg, so this is a little bit more intermediate. So if you need to hold on, my beginners, that's fine. Hold on to a chair or wall. The standing knee is soft. Good. This is good for the hip. It's great for balance. Let's get three more. That's one and two and three. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Again, if you have a chair or wall, beginners, hold on. More advanced and intermediate. You can let go. We're going to back and forth. Now, if you want to swing your arms, that's even harder. Again, anytime you have moving parts, let your eyes fixate on something. My standing knee is soft. It's pretty challenging, isn't it? Oh, some of you might be all over the place or hanging on to something. I expect that, especially when you first start off. Let's get, that's three and two and one. Very nice, good. So one foot in front of the other, okay? I have my right foot in front. If you need to open it up a little bit, if you're floundering too much, I want you to open it up. The easiest way would be even more of a split. So again, the hardest way is exactly heel to toe. Open it up for easier. Easiest is out to the side. So pick what works for you, because what we're gonna do is some moving parts here. I happen to be heel to toe with my right foot in front, and then I'm gonna step exactly behind. So I'm going heel to toe. So I'm stepping in front. You can look at your feet if you need to, and then step behind. There you go, keep going. Step in front step behind. So this is advanced. If you need to make it a little easier, just open it up and bring it directly behind the other leg. So right in front and then bring it back behind. Let's get one more. Bring it in front, heel to toe. So I want you to feel challenged with this and then switch sides. So what do I mean by that? Well, you're not having to hang too much on that chair, but you know it's there, but you feel like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm having to think about this. So one foot in front. Let's use the other leg now, the other foot and then bring it directly behind. Good. One foot in front. You can look at your feet, it's okay. And bring it behind. Have you ever heard of the drunk test? That's a nice drill to do. Do the heel to toe and walk across the room and then walk backwards back. See how that goes for you. It does help to put the hands out, okay? And again, you can open that stance. Let's try the drunk step where you, where you just walk one foot in front of the other across the room. Let's get one more for fun here. Up. And then bring it back. Good. Let's see how you do. Put your feet close together. And I want you to go up on the toes. Hold, 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 
and then come back down. Good. Now lift the arms out to the side. Hold right here. Back down. Rest. If you have a chair, the higher up the chair is, the harder. If you have a step stool, that's probably even a little bit easier for this particular exercise. So we're just moving one foot. Notice how it's forcing me to be on one foot only while I do this. So if some of you need to hold on to a wall, that's fine. If the chair is too high, you can always just simulate, pretend you're stepping on something right here or use a step stool underneath the chair. So let's go ahead and get a few more. Here we go. Woohoo! Three and two. You'll notice I like to make funny noises. It's kind of fun. And woohoo is a fun noise. Let's get one more and rest. Good. So with this next balance exercise, what I'd like you to do is stand up tall. Let your neck relax, hands relax. You're going to take one leg out to the side and then come back. My standing knee is soft. I'm using my right leg. You're going to mirror me with your left. Hands on the hips is fine. Out and back. Good. Out to the side and back. So this is an outer leg lift. My standing knee is soft. Some people need to hold on to the chair or the wall next to you. That's fine too. You can work up to where you don't have to hold on. Now this is a great one. Working that sides as well and your balance. So you're getting a bonus of more than just balance. So out to the side. And these are exercises you can do anytime, anywhere. All you need is your body and that motivation to do it. And if you need me for your motivation, I'm right here for you. Let's go ahead and get a couple more. Out. Back, one more out to the side, and back. Good, let's go again to the side, other leg. Standing knee is soft. Now make sure what I don't want you to do is lean your body. So your body is nice and straight and upright. Have your eyes fixed on something. Standing knee is soft. If you have to cheat and hold on just a little bit, that's fine. But ultimately the goal would not be able to hold on to something. Out, back, let's get about three more. Out, back, you feeling it in the sides a little bit. That's a good thing and back. Now this next exercise. The higher the chair, the easier for this particular one. If you have a stool, that's fine. Just remember the lower the harder. And these are just teaching tools. I'd like you to stand. I'm standing on my right leg with my knee soft. I have my hands in front of me. I'm doing a hinge, one of the foundational movements with exercise. I'm going to stick my butt back, lift my left leg back. I'm going to tap on the chair. Notice how my back is flat. And I'm going to stand up tall. Repeat with the same leg. Back is flat, soft knee, and stand nice and tall. I want you to notice how my back is flat. I'm leaning. Good. Perfect. Keep going. Now, this is definitely more intermediate, even advanced to some folks up, and it will get easier the more you do it. So if you're all over the place for your first time doing this, that's very normal and natural. Just like anything else, it will get better. Down, up. Let's go ahead and switch legs. So standing knee is soft. Keep your tummy tight, down and up. And notice how both my hands are touching the chair at the same time, standing soft. And I also want you to notice how as I begin to hinge, that's when my leg goes back. So a common mistake I see with people is they start to come down, then lift the leg. Mm -mm. I want you to go ahead, put your hand down, about back, up. So remember, as you start to hinge, that's when you lift the leg out and back. Good. How's that feel? Now you're going to feel a little bit in the back of the legs and the hamstrings. That's completely normal. This is, like I said, a little bit more intermediate to advanced level. So if some of you guys have to hold on to something while you do this, that's fine. Or maybe you're just barely going down or even just doing it with two legs would make it a little bit easier, a lot easier. So let's go back to that original leg. So sit up upright. I don't want any slouching. Shoulders back. You're going to hinge at the hip, tap on the chair, come back up. Reminder, is the leg going back as I hinge? So the hinge part is where I'm sticking my butt back. Good. Let's get one more. One more. You're doing a fine job. Down and up. Let's switch sides. So hinging at the hip, back flat. What I don't want to see, and I'm going to give you another one, is I don't want to see this. That's a rounding of the back, and that's when you wake up with a bad back. So stick the butt back, hinge, up. Let's get one more. Hinge, and then stand nice and tall. Good. I know you're feeling that. Whew, good stuff right there. So what I'd like you to do right now is put one foot up. Notice how I'm at a 90 degree. If this is too challenging for you, drop it down low. So the higher up, the harder. Put your hands either out 
or on the hips. Think a happy thought and switch sides. We're almost done. Hang in there. We're on the other leg right now. And hold. And here we go. That's three, two, one. All right, this is a little more intermediate to advanced. I'd like, well, it actually depends on what level you are because it can work for beginners too. And let me tell you how. You're going to put one foot in front of the other. This would be for my advanced folks. If you need to open that up, that's a little bit, that's more intermediate. And this would be more beginner. So I want you to find the level with your feet that works for you. I want it to challenge you, but at the same time, I don't want you falling or floundering all over the place. So let's go ahead and put one foot in front of the other. So my advanced folks, you're one foot in front. And I'd like you to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a little more dynamic. If my right foot is in front of my, so look, look which foot is in front. My right foot's in front, and I'm gonna put my right thumb up. So if your left foot's in front, put your left thumb up. So look at that thumb. Look at your foot, or your, I let, let the foot, one foot in front of the other. Now take your thumb and I want you to lift it up, up, up. Let your eyes follow. Now take that thumb out to the side, side, side. Let your head follow. And then come back to the middle. So examine, how was that first set? Do you need to open it up a little bit? That's fine. So go up, go out, let your eyes follow. You're doing good. And then bring it back. I know you're feeling lots of things going on. Up and bring it out and bring it together, okay? It's just like you saw me do a little boop, that does happen, it's very normal. So let's switch your feet. Put the other foot in front. So if your left leg's in front, put your left thumb. If your right foot's in front, put your right. I want you to look up, up, up. Let the thumb move up, let the thumb move out, and let the thumb come back, good. And then go up and go out. Let your eyes follow and back. We're doing three times on each side. We're gonna do one more, up, and out and back. Good. Now go back to the original leg. Now those of you that are very advanced, and we're talking very, very advanced, close your eyes and do this. Very challenging when you have your eyes closed, which means you might not be able to do heel to toe. Maybe you have to go ahead and widen that stance up a little bit. But I'm gonna have my eyes open because I'm watching you, but if I'm gonna challenge you, close your eyes. If you have to open the legs up or the feet stance, that's fine. Put one, your right thumb, if my right foot's in front, left thumb, if your left foot's in front, ready, lift it up. Let your head follow as if you're looking at it, out to the side, bring it back to the middle. It's different with your eyes closed, isn't it? So lift up and out. You got your eyes closed, the middle, one more. Up and out into the middle. Good, let's switch your feet. Now, if having your eyes closed, even with your feet separated far apart was too challenging, obviously keep those eyes open. So I want you to do what works for you. So my more advanced students, you're gonna be heel to toe. Everyone else, if you have to open up the stance, that's fine. And always be near a wall or a chair, guys. It's always good to hold on to have that back up. So eyes closed if you can. If my left leg's out front, left thumb. If right leg's out, out front, put your right thumb. Eyes up, close your eyes though. Out to the side and then bring it back to the middle. You're gonna go up, eyes closed, and to the side. It's okay if you have to have your eyes open though, and back. You know, you know your level, all the way up, and out to the side, and back to the middle. Good, excellent, how'd that feel? Shake it out. You didn't realize how much you're actually strengthening the ankles when you do these type of movements, as well as working your brain. So there's actually a lot going on. I'd like you to take your outside leg. I'm using my right, you'll probably use your left. You're gonna bring it out in front of you and then bring it behind you. Now, a little bit easier is let it tap in front, tap behind. So that would be for my beginners, more intermediate and advanced. You're gonna just bring it behind you without tapping. Front and back, front and back. Good, anytime we have moving parts, makes things more challenging and I'm bringing you through different levels, different movement patterns, which is really good for the body as well. Let's get one more and then switch. How did you do with that one? Again, if you're floundering, do the one where you're just tapping front and tap behind. Ready, here we go. Front and behind, front and behind. If you wanna use your hands for balance out front, some people prefer that, that's fine. Eyes are fixated on something, really helps tremendously. Let's go ahead and get three more. That's one and two and three and step. 
Good. So put your weight on one leg only. I'm going to be putting it on my left. You're most likely your right. Out and back. Out and back. If you have to tap, that's fine. We're almost done. Let's get one more and let's go the other side. Other side. Here we go. Out and back. Now I'm adding a little squat to make it harder. So those of you more intermediate and advanced, more beginner, just tap it to the side. So let's get a couple more. Out back, out, and back. Beautiful. Don't you feel wonderful? I know I do. Thank you for joining me. Now remember to always stand on one foot, whether you're standing in a line or you're brushing your teeth. It will get better and improve that balance each and every time you work on it. So thank you for joining me today. And remember to always check with your doctor before starting an exercise program.